Hey guys, Whew. it's Giant Nomad here. Welcome to the Giant Nomad podcast, man. Let's get started with this. I walk about six miles a day. That's right, I do. I started this since last year, towards the ending part. And of course, the overall goal is to lose weight. But even more than that, what the exercising has done has made me even more focused. So, yeah, so it's providing additional benefits outside of just health. You know, um, my mind is always wandering. I guess I can self-diagnose and say I have ADHD. Um, But since I've been working out consistently, if I'm breathing hard, I'm working out right now as I'm podcasting, um, it really has focused my energy. It really has got me to complete a lot more tasks. Where in the past, I would begin a lot of tasks, but sure as hell not finish a lot of them. You know, so doing so many things right now, which is fantastic, and focusing and. It's giving me more time and energy to really build upon what we're going after. Not just after myself, but as a family. Me and my wife love me. And to see her motivation, her creativity, her desire to want to be and do more. It's inspiring and motivating for me. Uh, she's brilliant. She's wonderful. In so many different ways. So for me to try to match that, where I was a little erotic and chaotic at the same time, now with my focus, with her focus, we are accomplishing some things here. Of course, things take time. You have to employ patience. Patience is going to be key to our success. Because if we don't do that, and we try to rush things, Things won't fall in the right places. And that's what you don't want. You want to be able to control as much as you can. You want to be able to just overall make things happen. That's not surprising. But, you know, this is real life, right? You're not going to have 100% control of anything. Totally understand that. But when you're prepared, it does make things a little easier to recover from. The goal is to do us. Do what we have to do. Continue making things and creating things. So yes, this is my, my daily routine of walking. It also gets me to think. Gets me to think about a lot of things. Gets me to strategize. You know, if you're in an office setting, you're having a meeting. When I take a walk somewhere with your staff and talk, you just never know. Like, sometimes being in a fucking room stifles your creativity. Sometimes you're just walking a few feet, seeing something visual. Can spark something, anything. And it's all good. I think as humans, we tend to not rely on the biggest resource we have, which is our senses, our emotions. We are emotional creatures. And we have yet to rely on those things. We kind of suppress them, especially as a man. He told me not to cry. I can talk about shit. And imagine if we lived a life of where we understood who we are as human beings and capitalized on our emotional status. Man, that would be insane. That would be fucking sick if we can do that. And I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to work on being nicer. Lovely says I'm an asshole. But I'm still going to keep some asshole tendencies, don't get me wrong. 
assholes I need in the world to balance the world out. But, yeah, just putting energy out there, that's going to be energy that's going to be returning back to us in a good way. And it's been happening. Restructuring our lives, sacrificing on some things, so we can make a better 2019. And if you're not willing to sacrifice, then you're not really willing to move forward. Some sacrifices need to be hard. And boy, whew, we're doing a hard one. But we're going to make it happen because we know we are. You know, we're going to make shit happen no matter what. So, guys, thanks for listening. If you get any value out of this, that's fantastic. But what are you doing? What are you going after? And are you applying 100% of yourself to it? Always question that about yourself. All right, guys. (laughs) Johnny out.